Hi, this is Doug from Talk To You Tonight about something that I believe you could probably find in 90, if not 100% of the homes in America. I bet you even probably got one of these in your house. And if I can get this thing spun around here, let me show you what I'm talking about here. And it is, got this drawer here, and it's got, you know, we got some glasses in there, headband, whole pair of socks. Dremel tool parts. I think it's an empty bag. There, you got some, some kind of broken clips or something. Uh, empty pill bottle. Just mainly a bunch of just a bunch of a bunch of junk that really probably has no purpose anymore or has no reason to even be there. But what it is is we'll find that in most houses in there. What we call that it's our junk drawer. We got one at my house too. We got one here. I'm at work and you can see we've got a junk drawer here. And it's a place where we put stuff that we just don't know how to deal with or not ready, you know, think, well, well, we'll deal with it later. You know, just stick it in that drawer. We'll find old batteries in there and just all kinds of miscellaneous stuff that we don't want just laying around the house for everybody to see when we have company coming over. And we don't know what to do with it. So we just stick it all in this junk drawer and it just gets fuller and fuller and fuller and fuller. And it gets to a point sometimes where you may not even get the drawer shut. And uh, we just think one day I'm going to deal with that stuff. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to clean it out and get rid of some of that stuff I don't need. But we just never really get around to it, do we? And a lot of times it's the same thing in our life. You know, we have things in our life. We go through things, different experiences and stuff, maybe hurtful experiences, experiences that we just don't want to really deal with and, or we don't know how to deal with. So we try to suppress them. We try to stick them way down to keep them covered up because we don't want others to see that. You know, we want them to think that everything's going fine. And we keep thinking one day, you know what, we're going to deal with it. Or we think, you know, I'm, I'll probably never deal with it because I don't know how to deal with it. And isn't it good that we have a God that loves us? And you know what, he wants to help us clean out all that junk in our life. He wants to help us clean out that junk drawer. He knows what's in there and he wants to help you clean it out. You know what it says in 1 Peter chapter 5 it says to cast all your cares on Jesus because he cares for you. You know what? He cares about the things that you're going through. He cares about the hurts. He cares about the pains and he knows about all those things and he wants to help you through it but we've got to open up that drawer. Open up that junk drawer. Say God I'm ready to deal with that. I'm ready to, to getting this stuff out to get it out of my life because I know it's holding me back from living in the best that you have for me and I want to move forward. I want to go up. I want to get higher in you but we've got to clean out this stuff in our life. Maybe we don't know how to deal with it but God knows how to deal with it but we've got to willingly turn it over to him. It also says in First Peter, it goes on in chapter 10 it says, in his loving kindness God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Jesus Christ. After you have suffered for a little while he will restore support and strengthen you and put you in a place on a firm foundation and that's what God wants for our life you know what we can turn our things over to him you know what you may be suffering now but he says you know even though you've suffered for a little while just turn those things over to me and I and I can give you support I can put your life back on a firm foundation so I don't know let me ask you are you ready to clean out that drunk drawer are you ready really it's real easy you know what? Just ask God to give you the strength, give you the courage to deal with those things, and just turn it over to Him. Well, I love you, and God loves you. I'll see you later.